Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, magsasolve tayo ng present value of annuity due. When we say annuity, it is a series of equal payments sunod-sunod na bayad ng pera at regular and consistent intervals. And there are many kinds of annuity ang focus natin for this discussion ay annuity due. Ang annuity due is an annuity that is paid or received at the beginning of the time period. Kung monthly yung interval, sa umpisa ng buwan, magbabayad na agad tayo sa annuity due. Kung annually naman, sa umpisa ng taon, yung payment natin. Makikita natin siya dito sa cash flow diagram natin at period 0, meron agad tayong annuity, meron agad payment or release of money. Then pagdating natin sa period 1, sa umpisa niya, magbabayad ulit tayo ng annuity. Then hanggang sa mga susunod na periods natin, hanggang makarating tayo, dun sa isang period bago yung huli, this will be our last payment. Kasi magbabayad agad tayo sa umpisa ng period na to, para pagdating sa dulo, wala nang magiging payment ng annuity kasi nagbayad na tayo dun sa pinakaumpisa. Given our annuity due, ang kukuhanin natin ay yung present value or this PV. Dahil in the present siya, eto yung amount na ibabayad ngayon, para makakuha tayo ng series of payments consistently throughout our periods. Kung baga magbibigay ako ng isang malaking pera sa ngayon para makakuha ako ng paunti-unting pera at a certain consistent time period. Ang advantage when it comes to the present value of annuity due ay kapag pinagsama-sama ko yung lahat ng annuity na matatanggap, mas malaki siya compared dito sa present value na binigay ko kasi meron tayong interest or tubo. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin ang formula ng annuity due. Here's the present value of our annuity due, PV sub AD. This is just equal to this A. Ito yung annuity, ito yung matatanggap nating pera periodically. This is multiplied to 1 minus yung nasa loob na 1 plus I. Yung I na nandito can be computed by getting the rate of interest R. Tapos, i-divide natin siya sa M, wherein this M is the number of payment periods in a year. Kapag ang payment ay annually, ang MI1, kapag semi-annual, ang MI2, kasi dalawang beses sa isang taon, kapag ka-quarter, apat naman, and then kapag monthly, we have the value of M that is equal to 12. Then, naka-raise siya sa negative ng N. Makukompute naman natin to by multiplying our M, same, the number of periods in a year, times yung time natin in years. Then, dahil meron na tayong value ng I, i-divide natin yung lahat ng to sa I, and then, imu-multiply natin lahat to sa 1 plus i. If you are familiar with the formula for the present value ng ordinary annuity, etong part lang yung ginagamit natin. Pero kapag ang concern natin ay annuity due, kailangan nating i-multiply yung formula natin to 1 plus i. Kaya etong part na to ang idadagdag natin for annuity due. Now that you are familiar with the formula, gamitin na natin to dito sa ating example. We have to solve for the present value of annuity due directly. Sinasabi kung ano yung hahanapin natin for an investor to receive 12,000 pesos semi-annually for 6 years if our money will be compounded at 8% semi-annually. Let us start by writing down our given values. Merong matatanggap na 12,000 pesos semi-annually. Ito yung periodic or series of payment. We represent our annuity as capital letter A. This is equal to 12,000 pesos. Then for our next given, matatanggap yung pera at a span of 6 years. Ito yung time natin. So we have our T that is just equal to 6. And then it will be compounded at a rate of 8%. This is our rate of interest pero ang kailangan natin ay nakadesimal siya. Kaya kapag kinonvert natin yung 8% sa decimal, that is equal to 0. 08. And then lastly, it will be compounded semi-annually, that is 2 times in a year, our M is just equal to 2. Then para makompleto yung given natin, we have to solve for the value of our I, that is just yung rate ng interest natin divided by M. Meron tayong rate na 0 0.08, meron tayong M na 2, so to solve for our I, that is just equal to rate na 0 0.08 divided by M, that is 2, this is equal to 0 0.04. Then, isolve natin yung N. This is just equal to M times T. Our M is 2, our time is 6. So, our N is just equal to 2 times 6, which is equal to 12. 
Ngayong kompleto na yung given values natin, ang kailangan nating isolve ay yung value ng present value for annuity due. Then, tignan lang natin yung formula sa taas. Gagamitin natin to Isusulat ulit natin siya sa baba. Now, for our solution, nandito na tayo sa computation proper ng ating problem. Let's start with our formula. The present value of annuity due is just equal to our annuity multiplied to 1 minus 1 plus i. This is raised to negative n. This is all over our i, and then this is annuity due, kaya magmumultiply tayo ng 1 plus i. Then dahil kompleto na naman yung given values natin, ilalagay lang natin lahat ng to dito sa formula. Then let us proceed sa ating substitution process. We have our present value ng annuity due is equal to, galing sa ating given, ang annuity ay 12,000 pesos, and then imumultiply natin siya, yung numerator natin sa loob, this is 1 minus 1 plus, yung i natin is 0 0.04, and then sundan lang natin yung formula, this is raised to negative n, our n is 12, kaya ang negative n natin is negative 12, and then continuing on dito sa ating denominator, this is all over our i, that is 0 0.04, tapos yung nasa kabila, we multiply this to 1 plus i, so this is 1 plus 0 0.04. Then, bago natin siya i-compute sa calculator, simplify muna natin yung nasa loob para mas madalian tayo. We add 1 and 0 0.04. Kaya, going on with our addition, this is still equal to, ang annuity natin is 12,000 pesos still. And then, we multiply it to 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.04. This is just equal to 1.04. This is still raised to negative 12 all over 0 0.04. And then, imumultiply natin siya, 1 plus 0 0.04, that is 1.04. And then, for this part of our solution, gamit na lang tayo ng calculator. Pero pwede pa rin naman siyang isolve one step at a time. Kung ganun ang gagawin ninyo, I would suggest na gumamit kayo as many decimal places as you can para makaiwas kayo sa round of error. With that said, solving directly gamit ang ating calculator, the present value of annuity due is just equal to We were able to solve 117,125.72 pesos. This is the present value of our annuity due. Ito yung pera na kailangang i-deposito ngayon para makatanggap ng 12,000 pesos semi-annually for 6 years kapag ang interest rate natin ay 8% compounded semi-annually. And this is the process kung paano tayo makakapag-compute ng present value of annuity due. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!